What's going on, everybody? Ghost Recon 2 here, and welcome back to Questions and Answers, Episode 2. I know it's been about a year since we've done this, but, uh, yeah, it's back. So, with me today, I have Ghost Recon 808. What up? Alright, and 808, you are our lucky episode number two guy. And so, welcome. Awesome. Um, person. <laughs> <laughs> Ghost Recon 555 was our first participant, and that was a year ago. And it just kind of slipped my mind about this series, but now that we have the time to record and the better equipment to record, sure as why the hell not do it? So let me start off with some generic questions to get it started. Okay. When did you join the clan? I joined the clan in... I believe 2011, no, no, 2010, I think. 2010, right after Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 2 came out. It was right when Battlefield 2 came out. Yeah, you were uh, one of our first, like, real awesome uh, Xbox members. And uh, you eventually switched over to PlayStation, so that leads into this question. What is your PlayStation uh, ID, in case anybody from the clan or anybody that wants to watch this video wants to add you? Ghost Recon 808. And that'll be in the title, so you can just look that up. And uh, what was your first Battlefield game? It was on Xbox 360, I believe, with a former member of Recon was Critical 808. It was him, and I believe it was East Infection and Dubai, or Jubei. That was the first three people that I played with on uh, the Ghost Recon Clan. Yeah, that's, a, that's a good three people to start off with. Yeah. And Critical is too cool, too. He was uh, your cousin and led you to actually join, so. Yes. That's a cool story. Yeah. Um, I'll leave this next I don't know why I put this in the intro questions that's a, more of a question for the end but uh, okay let's get some, to some user submitted questions uh, unfortunately there aren't a lot because a lot of people didn't watch the first video so they didn't leave a lot for you so uh, I picked out a few of the best ones from the original one plus some of the ones that were left in the second one and the first one I have is from Ghost Recon M8 I don't know if you ever played with him yeah, I played with him on 360, I believe. And he asks, do you love him? Negative. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as a clan member, yes. But I've, it's been a while since I've played with him. I I think the last time I played with him was, I would say, he's a year ago since the first video came out. I never played with uh, M8 since then. <laughs> yeah. um, let's see. All right, this one is from Star Fox. I don't know if you ever met him. He hasn't been on in a while. Yeah, he's on from 362. Yeah, he's got two questions, actually. Uh, the first one is kind of cool. He asks, would you rather hide in a safe house with hundreds of hot girls during a zombie apocalypse or have a baby T-Rex to do everything for you in a zombie apocalypse? I would have to choose baby T-Rex. Yeah, that sounds pretty badass. <laughs> <laughs> Because like, the hundred girls will probably end up getting you fucking killed. <laughs> They'd all be <laughs> rushing out the door. <laughs> They'd be just asking you to do too much things, and then it'd just be your downfall. Like, if that's just, like, one single guy of you and the hundred hot girls, that would suck. Uh, yeah. Maybe if there was, like, 40 dudes and then a hundred hot girls, but <laughs> other than that, not you alone with a hundred of fucking bitchy girls. That'd just be insane. All right, and his second question, and you can share the one that you're uh, that you're most comfortable sharing with if you want to, is what is your highest valued memory from being in the clan or just? Uh, I'm not sure if that you can do clan or real life or both. It's up to you. Um, I'd have to say my first cherished memory in real life would have to be. Meeting my wife and having my two girls, that'd be memories, not really a memory. 
And then my first recon memory that is cherished is, I guess, when I joined the clan and met all of you guys. That was pretty sweet. <clears throat> yeah, that you're you're one of my highest valued memories because I love you. All right, sweet. <laughs> so now I don't feel weird that I feel the same. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> now, right. but, uh, in general, it was pretty sweet, you know, joining the clan and um. Being a part of the Recon Clan has been, you know, a real privilege. And, you know, there's a lot of cool guys in our clan, you know, and a lot of people left and we have a lot of new members now. But other than that, you know, it's in general, it's been a pretty, pretty fun ride, you know, and it's we can we're always all friends on online and that's what keeps it really cool, you know. Yeah. So uh, next question is from HT. I don't, probably played with him a few times. Yep. Uh, he says, who is better, Jet Li or Jackie Chan? I would have to say Jet Li. Just because uh, he made better movies than Jackie Chan. Like, I do like Jackie Chan as a kung fu artist, but Jet Li just, on the cool level, is a little bit cooler than uh, Jackie Chan. I don't know. Jackie Chan has to take it from me because he has this Jackie Chan Adventures cartoon. I love that. Oh yeah, that was that was pretty sweet. But I just like the um, and plus uh, Jet Li's been actually in more old school. Like if you actually look up Jet Li, he's he's actually pretty old. Like you go, he made some pretty cool kung fu movies. Like before they really started coming out with all that, the wire and stuff where they're all like fucking bouncing around like Crouching Tiger, Hidden <laughs> Dragon. They actually did that like a really long time ago in a lot of movies that he was in, like actually um, back in the day. So, yeah, he looks younger, but he's actually, I think, just as old as Jackie Chan. Yeah, he's a classic kung fu uh, artist. Yeah. So, the next uh, question is from 360 member Beto. And this one kind of goes with the question I asked earlier, so maybe I should ask a little bit earlier. But it says... If a zombie apocalypse were to break out, what one place would you go to? Like to stay or the first place I would go like to? to uh, um, like to to go to to defend yourself, I guess, to hold up. I guess if that was the case, the first place I would go to, being on this island, um, I would go to the National Guard Gun Armory, which is right up the road for me. <laughs> 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 just pack yourself with heat and just bunk hunker down. Yeah, because they probably have the load of MR MREs and you know the load of everything in there, and I'd probably hit that up. Hawaii so actually, first. Hawaii might actually be the best place to go to too, because that's on a freaking island. Like, yeah, but it, but the only thing is, if it really broke out here, you're stuck on the island. You're like, yeah, there's no. Well, other you, you would just have to kill everyone, and then you'd be safe. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to just be king of the mountain. <laughs> Go high but it would actually be a lot harder because uh, the big island is actually, it's not flat. There's a lot of mountains. So, and it's the biggest island out of all of them. So, it, like, most of them, you could go up to the mountains and probably stay there and be pretty safe until the ones from the beach came up and tried to attack you. But that would take a while. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, the next question comes from frosty and he asks what was your first fps mm. first person shooter well i answered that one i think in the last in the podcast we did i think the very first first person shooter i ever played was xbox one halo original it's a good choice it's a good one to start out on Oh yeah, yeah, you, you did answer they, that in the podcast, but yeah, you know, you know that's that's a long video, so not a few, not a, many people might have got to that. So oh, yeah. All right, and that leads into uh, Dom's question that he left, which is, what made you like FPS shooters over other game genres? Well, um, at first, I didn't really. I played a lot of FPSs, like uh, I'd say before even Halo FPS period that I ever played was GoldenEye um, on N64 
classic Double seven but um that was just that they never had live or anything so it was um just basically four controllers you plug in and on the same tv you know hmm. and that was pretty sweet but for sps like online like i never even knew there was xbox live until i went to my um my wife's um brother's room one day and he was playing the halo on to on xbox and i had xbox at the time and um i had halo and then i was wondering what the fuck are you playing i remember asking <laughs> him what the fuck is this dude because he, he was talking shit to the tv and i was like what the fuck are you doing <laughs> and then he's i was looking at the map and i was like i never played on this map before what the fuck is this <laughs> and then he's like oh yeah i'm playing with a bunch of people online i'm like yeah fucking right and he's like for real and i was like no way there's just a bunch of bots jumping around he's like no it's real people and then i threw on his mic and heard all the people talking i was like what the fuck is this <laughs> And then right there, I was like, how the fuck do you do this? And he's like, oh, you have to sign up for Xbox Live. And I remember once I did that, my wife was just totally chapped. She was just <laughs> like, oh, my God. Because <laughs> I was just sitting there, like, constantly. I was like, we have to get this. And your brother just showed this thing to me. I have to go get it right now. And ended up buying it. And then that was, like, the first F- SPS online that I ever played. And that's what got me really addicted, like, was... um having more of a challenge um playing it online with against other people than against uh bots on the on uh the original game you know hmm. all right so the next question is from underdog uh how many noobs does it take to screw in a light bulb uh, i'd have to say just underdog <laughs> 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 that wouldn't that wouldn't be the answer if you didn't suck at the game. Uh, yeah, that, I know. Well, I'd have to say um, a lot, I guess. Maybe I don't know. I was a, I was a noob one, so it doesn't take too much smart to plug in a light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the next question is from Ghost Recon Thirty Two. You probably never played with him. No, I, I never he's, did. He's like not around right now, but he left a pretty good question. Uh, would you ever consider going into a rehabilitation center just to piss everyone off? A rehabilitation center for what? Um, uh, like AA stuff. Oh, um, just to piss people off to like go, go there? there? Yeah, I, I go in there and actually, mess with them? I actually did that <laughs> um, with one of my friends, and it didn't end up too, too good. Like, they totally put us on the spot, and made us feel really embarrassed while we were there so we thought it was funny at the time we we're all sitting there and then it was really funny well it was, it was funny at the time like we go in there and we're kind of drunk and we go to this um aa meeting <clears throat> and my friend's like dude let's do it it's gonna be fucking hilarious so I was like all right let's do it so we go inside and we sit down and right there this guy stands up and he's a pretty slim white guy and maybe about 120 like in weight Mm. And um, he's sitting next to this pretty good size Hawaiian lady, probably about, she's maybe, he's maybe like 5'9", maybe 120, and then she's about 6 foot, 300 pounds. <laughs> and we're sitting there, but I didn't notice her until when we started going into the stories, and me and my friends are kind of laughing, because me and my one friend, Seth, and we're just like, oh my god, like some of these guys' stories are just super hilarious, but I guess it's real, you know, it's real hard for them. Mm. But when you listen to it, it's pretty classic, like this, like how people can actually get that bad, you know? Like, it's like, I put hearts in my coffee every morning. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> but then uh, that guy, back to that guy, he, um, he stands up and he's like, oh, my name's so and so, and I. I get abused by my wife and like his wife just stands up and like just starts choking him like in the <laughs> middle of the, like, the AA meeting and me and my friend are just boss laughing and then right there the AA teacher stands up and he's like what the fuck do you guys think is so funny and he's like uh nothing he's like what's your guys story you guys look like you're on alcohol right now and we, all the people like turn around and like I can smell it. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, totally putting us on the spot. And we're just like, okay. And we're just out of there. And like, some guys are crying, like, we have real problems. 
<laughs> so, yeah, I think it's our time to leave now. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of a long explanation, but yeah, it was pretty hilarious. All right. So now we got two questions from Ghost Recon 83. And his first question is Do you ever park your car? Do you ever back your car into parking stalls in case you need to make a speedy getaway? Uh, no. So you never thought I don't even lock my car. Really? Yeah, over here we don't have to lock our cars. Actually, wow. nobody does. Wow. I actually leave my window down and my key in my truck. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that over here. Yeah, I know. I got my car stolen when I lived up there in Washington. I totally forgot that that's how people are up there. Huh. Uh, and his <laughs> another question. I found it a block. I found it a block away on. Um, on wood fucking four by fours with my tires gone and like I can't believe how like crucial they were on stripping it down to like the wiring and like every piece of metal you know it's just like wow these guys are really on it <laughs> they're like a <laughs> freaking NASCAR pit crew uh, yeah that just devastates your car and it was like only like maybe a mile away from my house and uh, I was talk it was funny because I was talking to my friend I'm like oh my god my car got stolen last night and he's like oh man that sucks and we're just turning around like two blocks away from my house, and then I was like, "That's my car right there." <laughs> and it was just sitting on wood blocks, and I hate to be racist, but it was in a Mexican neighborhood, just totally fucking <laughs> stripped to the fucking metal. I was like, "God damn, these guys are fucking gnarly." <laughs> but yeah, it was pretty fucked up, but it was just classic at the same time. I found a good way to make a joke out of it after. And uh, his next question is, does your toilet paper roll over the top or down the back? I like over the top. Nice. I, I agree. <laughs> um, this question was for me, actually. And then, all right. So, if Timbuk2 plus Timbuk4 equals Timbuk6, then what does Tennessee minus Timbuk2 equal? Ten <laughs> Tim Buck me? I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> that fucking is rejected. Tim Tim Buck four. <laughs> yeah, so, I don't I don't even know the answer to that, honestly. I just Yeah. Uh well, it was good. it was like the most random question I could think of. I think it did. Yeah, that was good though. That's, that was like a stumper that just like killed it. I was thinking like, what the hell? is this supposed to be a joke? Like if you get it right, like it's like Tim Buck, my butt or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know because it's like Tim, it, like I used actual math in the first part and then you have 10 SC minus mm -hmm. Tim Buck 2. So that could be like something with the word eight in it. So I have no idea. No. Okay. I have no idea. <laughs> All right, and uh, this is my last question. I have uh, this will end the video off. What one tip would you give to any new member of the R3C clan? Um, one tip. In Whoa. terms of battlefield, or in terms of, <clears throat> of how to properly info like get them into the clan, or fit in, or what? You know, to fit in is pretty easy, you know, everybody is pretty nice in our clan and really good to get along with, you know. No, I would say the only tip would be play the fucking objective in the <laughs> game, you know, that's pretty much the main objective of when we play and, you know, like we're all good friends, but we all have to have fun, you know, we all have fun. Like for me, I don't really give a fuck, you know, I, I play to have fun and I could give a shit less what my death ratio is I don't really care you know at all as long as I'm having fun and doing what I want to do and it's all cool you know and, and playing with people that I, I like playing with is the number one thing you know so right. I'd say just have fun and play the fucking objective so you guys heard it here from an R3C vet just play the fucking objective and you shall fit in <laughs> like I yeah, because there, there have been people that joined and they just sit back and snipe. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. And so. Yeah, there's always a, there's always time to have fun, but there's most of the time, you know, we want to win. You know, that's why we're a clan and we want people to notice that 
when they play against us, they better be ready, you know? Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's all the questions I have for now. So, I hope you guys enjoyed episode two. 808, thank you for taking the time out to answer these questions. All right, thank you very much. And, uh, remember, if you want to add 808, if you're part of the clan, or just want some more people to play with, his PSN ID will be in the title. And uh, don't forget to subscribe here to R3C Official for more videos that hopefully we can get 808 into more. Because I know you want to be in more. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really matter. I just, I just, fucking, I just fuck around and make, try to make you guys feel bad. But, but yeah, really that's the me. best part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need more of that. Yeah. We only have Domino who makes us feel bad about him being black. And that's just yeah. the racial like, yeah, that's sensitivity if we can. 300 years of... <laughs> what? Motherfucking oppression. <laughs> <laughs> Can't yes. get that back. <laughs> so, uh, thanks that everybody. For... No. <laughs> uh, that was bad. Yeah, that was. That's a bad foot to end off on the video. So, <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're going to watch it up to this point and be like, yeah, Not I'll give these guys a thumbs up. And then they're going to hear that and they'll be like, what? Fuck Black these guys. Power. <laughs> so <laughs> hope you guys enjoy the video and uh we'll see you guys next time bye all right peace